Hello everyone, Dee Fish here from Rockstar Consulting with another edition of the Rockstar Success Library. I'm actually standing here with my brand new smartphone and I realized the other day how many different forms of communication we have available. In fact, how many forms of communication we have available on this simple device. In fact, I found that there's at least seven different ways that we can communicate uh, just on a smartphone. What I didn't realize though is that not all forms of communication are created equal. In fact, there's a trap and the trap that we could fall into is using easy forms of communication instead of effective forms of communication. So for example, we could easily send out a tweet or do a Facebook post. Again, really easy, but not very effective. And the reason why is because they don't engage somebody in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Or we could even move up the list here and talk about a voicemail or an email. And hey, we all know people who use email as a way to hide from real conversations. In fact, especially in business, especially for all of you salespeople out there, I know it's real easy to hide behind an email because it's hard to get rejected through email. But if you think about what the most effective form of communication is, it's going to go back to that idea of having a one-on-one -on -one conversation face-to-face. -face. So what you want to do is use all these different forms of communication, even back to the original point of having a phone, a one-on-one -on -one phone conversation with someone, you want to use these all as a way to get to that one-on-one -on -one face-to-face -face conversation because that's always going to be the most effective way of communicating with someone. So try that the next time you're trying to get that business meeting or trying to get that new client. And I'll see you on the next time at the Rockstar Success Library.